Holy shit, lads, he's outside. Oh, hell yeah. Shout out G Fuel for another drop. It's Sunday, man. These guys do weekend delivery. That's insane. Go tabs on checkout. Uh, you guys have been tagging me on Discord, messaging me, all that kind of stuff for a tweet that went out recently by... Um, I had to re-download the app. I don't, for those of you unaware, I don't use uh, X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. I deleted the app because there's just way too much gore and violence on there. At G Fuel Energy, a brand's whole purpose is to improve gaming in a healthy way. A brand that creates products that, in their words, will give you the edge you need to fuel your grind. Are sponsoring one of the biggest cheating uh, promoters. I can't be the only one that sees this as an issue. Now, fair enough. This tweet actually uh, when I was first sent it, only had about 300 likes, uh, and I figured, well, there's been Reddit hit pieces on me. There's been tweets about me. Uh, nothing ever comes of them because most people are generally they have enough understanding that gaming is gaming, and once you turn your computer off, it doesn't matter, and it really isn't something that should make your life feel like it's fucking like not worth living. Although there's some people out there that entirely do play, you know, pro league and go, you know, huge with that. I would never cheat in anything like face it or anything like that where I feel that my impact would generally be hurting someone's future. Uh, it's general, you know, cheating videos and uh, promo videos for cheats that have hit me up uh, in casual where really all you got to do is just leave the game if you have to sit out for 30 minutes. Well, then it sucks. I get it. But in most cases, you can leave the match uh, and really it shouldn't give you any mental uh, harm. I can understand getting mad Again, that's not my goal. My goal is to literally just not even not even be called out for the cheating and uh, the game just goes by. You live your life. I can see how it's still not fair. I'm not I'm not stupid. Uh, I probably have mental issues, but I'm not at that level where I, I don't realize I'm hurting other people. Uh, I do feel like to an extent to do this content, there is some harm that comes to normal legit playing players. But at the end of the day, it's not something that's going to, I feel, ruin your life. And uh, by default... Uh, yeah, sure. I think I came a little bit desensitized to the entire situation revolving uh, cheating in video games. And, you know, honestly, yeah, it started out like a lot of people. Everyone was cheating, so I decided to do it too. And then I started the YouTube channel to no longer have to pay for the cheats because I felt like it was stupid to pay to get banned back when VAC actually worked. Now, I can get into the whole substrate of, well, VAC doesn't care. They're not banning people. They make money off cheaters buying Prime accounts. They would rather, you know pump their gambling, aka case opening, uh, and everyone's okay with that, but it's the cheaters that are the main issue. Well, you could also say, why is there no kernel anti-cheat? Well, uh, some people that know anything about anything to do with this would immediately tell you that Face It would become redundant if Valve made a kernel anti-cheat like Face It's. Face It and Valve are obviously working together. It's a good partnership. It benefits both of them. Uh, therefore, it would kind of be bad business for Valve to create a kernel anti-cheat and then make face it redundant, basically killing a business partner. Now, you could say that as well, but I do think that VAC needs a update. Uh, VAC Live was like supposed to be this big, huge thing, and it didn't do anything. But I digress. That's not the issue. The issue is this whole G Fuel Energy sponsorship. And of course, you guys can see the, the G Fuel. I have like a literal, I think I have 42 tubs now. Uh, yeah, uh, I was given most of that for free. I was given it for free for being a uh, creator backed by G Fuel. Uh, whether or not they know I'm cheating, I have no idea. The guy that reached out to me uh, for reasons I don't want to dox him or anything like that, when he reached out to me from a verified at gfuel.com email, uh, said that he had watched my content and thought I'd be a good pick uh, or something along those lines. But he did state that, you know, it's something I should try and that he had came across my channel, meaning that they didn't know I was a cheater. I don't really like I've, I've had sponsorships with ben q i've had sponsorships with manscaped i've had sponsorships with the ewin racing the company my like my chairs from i do think from a outside point of view video games are just video games and if a company can make a bunch of money in that video game space i don't think they care really how it's made i don't think they care about the content as long as the content is bringing in clicks and views so as a creator should i take advantage of that i think so i get free product i like g fuel there's a lot of people that'll bash G Fuel, but it's like the, you can't get over the fact that 40 servings for like 25 bucks. If I was having to go out and buy Monster Energies all day, I'd spend like $500 on energy drinks a month. So my point is here is that um, I, I don't care. You can pull the G Fuel sponsorship. Uh, have I spent money on some of the stuff I've gotten from G Fuel? Yeah, I think I've bought about four or five tubs myself. If you pull the sponsorship, all that really happens is my viewers don't get a discount 
on purchasing it, but they can always use something like honey and get another discount. Uh, do I make money from people using my code? Yeah, but it's not significant. And you know, G Fuel, before it was called G Fuel and it was called Gamma Labs G Fuel was something that I personally had uh, when I grew up in the con days and I was something I would drink in Black Ops 2 and all those days. And uh, when they reached out, I was like, fuck yeah, that's awesome. And I've never promoted G Fuel in a way where I'm like, get this shit, you need it, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, like I drink G Fuel and if you guys want some, use my code. I can understand attacking a company, but realistically, it probably was a lack of due diligence and somebody wanting to uh, get me onto their marketing team as a referral because I had to tell them who sent me and, you know, all that kind of stuff while signing up for their creator uh, dashboard site. And yeah, that person might have done it as a way to get me on there because usually with these referral systems, the more money I bring in, they get paid a percentage of it because they are the ones that recruited me. But at the end of the day, um, yeah, there's not really, there's, I, I, you could take the G Fuel sponsorship. And honestly, I didn't expect it to last this long. I definitely thought people were going to get more angry. Uh, and I would say that, you know, for the community that is the legit community, you guys have handled it a lot better than I would have. But yeah, so the people that are out there saying like, oh, I'm going to throw my G Fuel out, this and that, like, please note that the people that created G Fuel are not the ones that picked me up and asked me if I wanted to be sponsored. It was most likely one of their marketing representatives, and maybe he fucked up. At the end of the day, you can take the G Fuel sponsorship. It was cool that it happened, but uh, I don't think it's it's worth you know throwing out the shit you spent your money on. At the end of the day, I am I'm a lot like the legit people when it comes to the cheating scene. The day that I can't load a cheat up on just a simple Google search of finding one. And, you know, the day that I, you know, I actually get banned is the day that I'll be like, all right, they're doing something. Creating content on doing something like this is going to be hard. There's no point of uploading. I'd stop uploading. But right now there's zero change. And if anything, it's gotten worse. And why would I want to play a game that I've played since 2014 when everybody is cheating? Literally everyone. You cannot play in a competitive sense without downloading a third party app. So... Why the fuck would I want to play legit either? At this rate, Valve is punishing everybody. And of course, cheaters are going to get blamed for it. But you see so many people that are now interested in cheats. And anyone can blame me. But without me here, someone would fill my shoes and do the exact same thing. I am not here to ruin the gaming scene. I'm here to spread light in a way that, one, obviously helps me. There is a little bit of narcissism in every single YouTuber. But in a way that, one, gets me paid, gets me taken care of, but also makes it very easy for an employee of a game company to go through my videos, find out what website I'm promoting, and making sure that everybody that just watched the video and bought the cheat, downloaded the client, didn't have an account to play on. And obviously, I'm not going to deliberately say this in videos, but it is a thought in the back of my head that every time I upload, what if this cheat gets detected because I uploaded it? You know, there's narcissism in there, of course, as well. But the overall factor is I'm one of the most consistent people that uploads cheating on YouTube. And people blame YouTube. But it's also, I'm not breaking any laws. You know, so at, at the same time, it's like, use me for what I'm good at. Target the things that I am promoting. You'll get a large majority of cheaters banned. At the same time, for the people that enjoy my content, it's all it is. It's content. If I'm being honest, I don't even really play video games. Uh, I'm, I'm a grown adult, and I hop on this computer to make videos, and then I'm off it. So I can understand how you're hurt, but the one thing that I want you to take from this video is we have a common agreement. We want cheats out of the gaming scene, and at the end of the day... G Fuel can walk, can separate our partnership. I appreciate them sending out packages every month. Uh, and I'm sorry that I couldn't make them more money because uh, obviously I'm not making them crazy. Like my viewers aren't, aren't needing energy drinks necessarily to cheat. So clearly I'm like, I'm, they're probably at a net loss for like the sales that I've made them. But at the same time, it is what it is. And uh, it was cool that it happened anyways. Either way, I hope going forward, Valve works harder on VAC. Uh, and makes doing what I do a lot harder so that even cheaters can go back to playing legit because that's really what we all want. Unless you actually have a proper mental problem and you have to win every game. At this point, like I see most cheaters I run into and even myself just wishing that we wish 
Valve at least did something about ragers. At the very least. Closet cheaters, if they're really closet and they don't want to get banned, will let you win a game. They won't go obvious. Same can't be said for ragers. Anyways, my name is Tabs. I'm sorry that if you're watching this video, you've never seen me before. We've had this unfortunate interaction, and you probably won't like my other content. But either way, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, bros. Peace.